Dr. McWheely. Look, there's a white car driving along the road. It's an off-road car. The car is in a hurry because it's late. It's dark outside and the car has to turn on the lights. Yeah, that's much better. Oh dear car, your headlights don't work. You'd better not drive without lights at night. It's not safe. Let's wait for daylight. Great! It's morning. How shall we start the new day? Of course, let's go to Dr. McWhaley's garage to fix your broken headlights. Where is Dr. McQueely? Ah, she's up there. Dr. McQueely, please come down and meet your customer. We need your help with broken headlights here. Dr. McQueely started to examine the car. Dear car, turn on your side lights please. Okay, they work. Now the tail lights. They work properly too. Now try the headlights, please. Hmm, nothing. Let's look closer. This is a headlamp from the vehicle. Let's take it apart and see what's broken. Here are two small bulbs. They've burnt out and must be replaced with new ones. I bet Dr. McQueely has spare ones. Yes! The first bulb and the second one. Dear car, can you turn on your headlights now? Hooray! They work! Thank you, Doctor. See you next time. Dr. McWheely Dr. McWheely is driving her yellow cabriolet along the road. She is going to the car factory. Look, here it is. The big white building. Can you see it? And here we are inside of it. Look at how many interesting things there are. Let's find out how cars are made. At first, a strong chassis is needed to which all other components are attached. A wheel is coming off the conveyor belt. The wheel is fastened with bolts and screws, like this. Let's install the passenger compartment. 
comfortable seats, a steering wheel and pedals for a driver. What is next? A body. Look, clever robots are cutting it out right here. All done. Let's go on. Here the engine is installed. Then the bonnet and the trunk. Don't forget about the doors. The first one, and the second. What is coming here? Windows? Let's put them into position. What are these? Headlights and tail lights and side mirrors. It's finished. We only need to paint it. will be a blue car. That's it. The car can go now. Dr. McWheely wants to take a closer look at the little car. She enjoyed herself so much. Now she knows much more about making vehicles. What interesting things is she going to tell us next time? Dr. McWheely This is a spare part shop and Dr. McWheely is coming out. She often comes here because she has to buy new parts for broken cars. There's a road in front of the shop. How do we cross it safely? First of all, it's necessary to watch the traffic lights. The red light means don't move and the green one, go. All cars have stopped. Dr. McWheely is crossing the road. She's looking left and right. The traffic lights are showing green for cars now and they start to move. Oh no! Not all the cars move. The orange one has stalled. What happened, little car? We should take it to the garage and find out why it can't go. Let's call for a tow truck. It's a good job that Dr. McQueely knows its phone number. The tow truck has come. Hook up, little car. And here is the garage. Dr. McQueely is already waiting.
Thank you, tow truck. Well, let's have a look. What is under the hood? It's obvious. The battery is flat. But to know that for sure, Dr. McQueely needs to check something out. This gadget will tell Dr. McQueely whether the battery is flat or not. Join two wires to the battery. Yes, it's flat. The little hand is showing red. The car can't drive with a flat battery. It can't start. Don't worry, little car. Dr. McQueely will help you. It doesn't hurt. We will just hook you up to a charger. Now wait for a while. Yes, right, it's done. Dr. McQueely thinks it's okay to drive now. Do you want to check? Let's close the hood. Okay, start your engine, little car. Hooray! Now you can go. Bye-bye. Don't get yourself into trouble again. And you try not to get into trouble too. And cross the road safely. Dr. McQueely This is Dr. McQueely's garage. And here she is. She's feeding the pigeons outdoors. Dr. McQueely, the first customer has come. It's a blue rubbish truck. It's very big. Rubbish truck, what happened to you? You look upset. Are you bored with your job? I have an idea. We'll make you into a dumper truck. We need to replace your container with a dumper bed. Like this. Are you feeling better? An excavator will fill your dumper bed with soil. Like your new job? You can go now. Here we are. Lift up your body. The dumper truck has come to Dr. McQueely's again. What's up, dumper truck? You don't like this job either, do you? Nothing to worry about. We'll make you into a cement mixer. 
Let's take off all the unnecessary parts. And put on a huge drum for cement. It'll continually turn so the cement won't harden. Everything is done. The cement mixer you can dry. Do you like your new job? The cement mixer is driving to a building site. It has to pour the cement. Builders will lay a new house foundation with it. Look how important the work is that different vehicles do. Dr. McWheely and the fuel tank. Look at this beautiful car driving along the road. It's big. It can carry passengers and luggage too. That's why it's called a station wagon. Station wagon, where are you going? Be careful, the road here is a bit bumpy. bottom of the vehicle has caught a sharp stone. Look, the fuel is leaking. The stone has damaged the fuel tank. The petrol is leaking out. The car can't go any further. Hooray! It's Dr. McBeely. She will help you, Station Wagon. First, she needs to examine the car. Hmm, I see. We need to take you to the garage. Great, Dr. McWheely has a tow cable. Attach one end here and the other here. Hold on, station wagon. Let's go. Here we are. Now we can begin repairs. To get to the fuel tank, we need to remove the body. Now, let's take out the fuel tank. And have a good look. There's a hole from the sharp stone. We need to seal it. First, let's hit it with a hammer. Then heat it with the gas burner. Look, Dr. McQueely will weld the metal to fix the crack.
the metal has become hot and turned red. And now it's cooled down and become grey again. The crack has disappeared. Everything is ready. We can reassemble the car. Now, let's fill it with petrol. Without it, the car can't drive. OK car, start the engine. Great! Everything works. Dr. McQueely has done a great job again. What story would you like to watch next? Choose your favourite car.